Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, and I'm here today with Dan Rodriguez uh, from VinaQuest, as well as the Cal Poly Wine and Viticulture Program. I'm talking about spore trapping, you know, with all the pesticide resistance that we're seeing, and, and not to mention the expense of the chemicals, we're doing everything we can to reduce that impact as well. And so there's a new technology out there, or technique, called spore trapping, that wanted to introduce. So could you talk a little bit about that? Sure, this is a relatively, I'd say, new technique on, on uh, ex baby uh, expending your field scouting. It essentially uses a continuous machine that spins small little uh, rods in the air and captures actual uh, mildew spores uh, that are in the air, lands on that, and then every week or so you can take those, analyze them with uh, PCR testing to identify if you have powdery mildew and if you want to, how much mildew is out there. Um, as you start to find this, um, pref preferably uh, by doing this in an extended amount of time, starting from bud break all the way to, to the season, you might, in effect, be able to save several sprays. And we've been seeing that we've saved uh, between four and five actual fungicide sprays. Reason? There's no spores out there. There's no spores. Why, why do we need to treat? But by also doing it, we can find out when the spore is there and then begin our uh, protection afterwards. In addition to that, we can also identify the, um, the actual mildew strains to, to uh, determine whether or not we have uh, strains that are resistant to some uh, fracs, uh, preferably uh, the DMIs and the FRAC 11. So on those, if we were to have an, a, a a positive sign that we had those in the field, we might maybe not use those materials and use some other different frac numbers to be able to pre provide pre prevention for powdery mildew. Now is this, uh, is this an experiment in progress or is this something that's being commercially, commercially utilized at this point? Actually, it was uh, started on some research that was done up in the Northwest, um, and uh, we had a um, I recently did some research on the web to find this out. And it's a, basically a service that we're beginning in Vena, uh, in my my company VenaQuest. Uh, the reason being is we see there there would be a need to uh, help our um, growers uh, save some money on the front end of their pesticide. Um, budgets by maybe s instead of utilizing fungicides that aren't needed to maybe more pinpoint or target uh, when they'd best be used. Great. Well, thank you, Dan. Read more about new technology and t techniques and your pesticide management in American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.